How's it going, everybody? Midnight Silver Run. And I figured we'd open uh, this uh, 1968 Philadelphia roll, I believe it is, half roll. It is from that uh, Stempler, Stemp, S-T-I-M-P-L-E-R collection, Stempler collection, that I got from a guy on uh, one of the Facebook groups. I uh, probably should have opened or recorded the other one because that's the one with a really nice toned coin on it. But uh, I already have that in my album for now, but we'll take a look at that um, before I uh, before we turn the before I stop the recording. Can't talk. Hopefully we get a nice roll to look at. Last one, the 59 roll that I looked at was really nice. Um, had some good results. Did find, uh, <coughs> you can see the, I don't know if you can see the bottom one too well. And I'm not exactly sure if that's one, but you can see the upper serif right there for sure. 1959. It's a nicer looking coin. And then uh, this this was from the one of the other half rolls, and then this one I think you can lightly see it right there, but then you can see the upper serif on that one as well. And that came from the fifty nine half roll that I got, which was also from the Stempler collection, I guess. And now we're going to be looking at uh, some 68s, and it looks like these are going to be spotty, unfortunately. Oh, that's unfortunate. What can you do, though? <coughs> Allergies are really getting to me. There's one, and this is... Uh, there's one DDO that I really couldn't uh, tell any uh, any difference on it, and I'm gonna have to look it over again, but it was up against a rim like that, and the letters looked a little thicker. Um, looks like machine doubling there, I think, or just some reflection. It's hard to tell. We're not really going to uh, waste too much time on one coin. I can always go back and look. And since they're really spotty, or most of them are going to be spotty, I'm not going to, uh, I don't think there's any really, any big known uh, varieties on the back, so on the reverse. Most of the doubling we'll be looking for is going to be, from what I've seen, was mainly in uh, the words in God. So I don't think we'll find any like double ears. And these look to be um, a later stage. That looks pretty worn. I guess we'll take a look at the back of this one since it wasn't so spotty. Let's get an idea what the back looks like. Looks like a piece of the die is missing there. Yep, just your average Lincoln scent. what we expected. Got a real nice toned one. I think I showed you guys on when I showed the roll when I got it. I 
I have a bad habit of checking the ears. You never know. Whoa, that was a bad leg right there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to actually go and look at that one and see what the, <coughs> see what the, see if I'll actually be able to tell the doubling on that one. Cause like I said, it was, it was from the quick look I took it, it was just like thickness doubling or something, I think. And I don't know. I, I guess if it's something that was more obvious to my eye, I might waste a little more time on it. But a lot of the time, you know, I, I don't, I don't see what they're seeing. So when it comes to that type of uh, doubling, I mean, on some of the more obvious ones, yeah, but not like from what I've seen on this one, I couldn't tell. My cat keeps jumping back and forth on the table. a little weird. I have to go back over that one and check it out. Not the coin, but actually go onto the site and uh, I only looked at Variety Vista also. I didn't go through Wexler's, so I had to go, I guess I'll have to check Wexler's too. Maybe get on Copper Coins. thinking I'd pull him out, we'd look at him. <laughs> my, my cat is, is, uh, she keeps peeking her head up from behind the, oh, you, well, you guys probably seen her right up here just a second ago, like right there. She made me lose my train of thought now. Oh, that looks a little weird. Yeah, we'll do a little spin. See how that looks all bubbly in a way? I gotta turn the, the brightness down. I think that's part of the problem. not like looking at the sun. Yeah, it just looks like the dive's highly deteriorating. I don't really check the too many of the backs. I'll flip a few over here and there. But what I will do is, is you know, I'll, I'll flip it over and look at visually. Never know if there's like a cut or lamination error or something of that sort that you can see with your eye. And, you know, those are cool to check out when you see them. So I'm assuming the, the 68 year must be, something must be, uh, they must all be up against a rim like that. Wow, look at that. It's a goofy looking Y. <laughs> it's, it's got one skinny leg right there. Now I'd imagine if, uh, the heck is that? It's gotta be just like a spot or something. Most of the stuff you can just see, you know, most laminations and stuff you can see by your eye anyway. Uh, that would be a shadow. 
being thrown off probably from his deteriorated ear. There we go, we can see it. Oh, wait a minute, I was looking in the wrong spot. I was looking at his ear. It's not his ear. It's gonna be just like a hit that filled in or something, I guess. You don't see it. Oh, it might be just the back of his jacket. Uh, yeah, it is his ear. It's just the, the deterioration of his ears, huh? The dye, it's just worn. You can see it, how worn it is. <laughs> Get a look at one of the coins. They're not bad. Some of them are really spotty. Some of them are uh, fairly nice. I do need to find one to put in my uh, my album. I actually have uh, worked out another deal with Scent Hoarder, and I is just waiting for that extremely awesome package to come in the mail. And then uh, <coughs> I went ahead and uh, did something. See, you see that right there on top of the D? That looks a little weird. I'll have to go back and look. When I looked at the DDOs for this year on Variety Vista, it showed the letters up against the rim like this. But... That's why I was saying I think this just must be a 68-year thing. I'm assuming because there's no way the first roll I open has got some kind of weird um, thickness doubling going on that I just can't see. And I believe that there was a couple other ones, which I don't know why the ones I've seen that were... Uh, were a lot, and they, they, you could see doubling <coughs> pretty much in, like, in the word N and some of the words like O and the D and God, and uh, you could see it really well, but they were, like, I guess it's because they weren't found first, but uh, they weren't, like, an FS or anything. They were just listed. And those ones, if you came across those, you'd... you'd uh, you notice them. I mean, if you're look, if you were looking through them like we are now, you'd you'd see them like we would see them. Because the word "n" was pretty doubled. I believe it was on this side, like it almost was doubled two or three times. And then there was uh, like a almost a letter inside the O and a letter inside the D. <laughs> it looked more two letterish than it does, you know, that, like, how it just looks like the guy yeah, was junk. That's why I don't think this is thickness doubling. I just think that being close to the rim is part of something that happened in 68. Back of the coins, the ones that are clean don't look bad. I mean, they're, they're marked up a little bit or whatever, but they look pretty good. Color-wise... Die doesn't look like someone uh, used it 50 million times yet. I wonder, can they, can they switch, when they switch dies out, are dies like switched out all at the same time? Or is like if the, if the obverse is, if the obverse is worse than the Reverse, can they just switch out the reverse until the, re you know, the reverse goes bad and switch it out? And I guess I've never really looked into that. I don't know how that works. They're like, oh, no, this is, uh, this is not good. We'll replace this one, but that one's fine. We'll just leave it alone, you know what I mean? The end looks kind of thick. Yeah, I just, I don't see it. If it is, I'm not seeing it. I just see some highly worn, funky-looking coins. Well, not coins. The coins are 
Like these coins are nice. We're looking at them and I don't even know what crazy magnification is, something stupid. So, I mean, I can't take away from the coin. Coins are really nice. Like look at the, the reverse, it looks like one thing, but it's got a couple spots on it, but I mean, they're really nice looking coins. I'll be able to find a nice one for my, you know, for my album until I get my uh, awesome package from uh, Centaur. <coughs> oh yeah, and then I went and did something. I think I mentioned something about it when I was showing uh, the, the, when I made a little video about these rolls uh, a couple days ago, or a day or two ago. I think it was a day ago. Oh. Lost. But uh wow, it moved that moved a lot. I bought a nineteen oh nine S V D B. Well I put my order in. They accepted it. I am waiting for them to send me the information to pay. Why does this keep going out of focus like it is? And uh, so, as soon as they send me the thing saying, uh, pay here, I'm gonna pay. It's it's a legitimate uh, auction company. See that? It just threw itself right out of focus again, and there it goes again. I think it has something to do with uh, where you're trying to focus the camera at, or <clears throat> where it's trying to, not the camera, where the microscope is trying to focus at. It's just weird sometimes. If you don't have it in the right spot and you move it around or stop it, it just won't pick it up. Yeah, and it's, uh, I got a stupid, 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 stupid deal on it. It's insane. It is, uh, Was it? I think it's graded very fine. I'd have to look. I, I can't pull it up now while I'm doing this, but I believe it was very fine. And it and it is details, but but it's not details in a bad way. Unfortunately, um, it's got a couple little spots on the rim, on the edge of the rim, like the outside rim. Unfortunately, and uh, it's graded. And it's it's a re it's a beautiful coin. Um, VDB is fully seen. 1909S is you know seen fully. It is it is actually a really nice coin, but because of the two little marks on the rim, it got details. So I got it for a really really good price. But I can tell you this: the price that I got it for is insane. And I've seen ones going for the same grade going for, you know, $600, $650. But the ones that are, you know, in nicer condition in that grade, you know, have a little, a little flaw, nick or whatever, are going for close to $700. And mine would definitely, definitely hit that higher uh, $650 to $700 mark all day long. So I'm super excited about that. <clears throat> I can't wait to get it so I can bust it out of a slab and uh, put it in my album and then complete my very first uh, Dan's Co. Uh, Lincoln Set album with proofs. <clears throat> I also uh, <clears throat> I also have another uh, Dan's Co. album coming. <laughs> so I'm going to do uh, Toned. Lincoln Cincinnati. So I'm going to take all my my uh, toned Lincoln scents that are in this one and replace them with untoned ones of uh, AU at least or BU condition and uh, for this album. It's going to be really sweet. I don't think we're gonna find any of this doubling, but you know, we're gonna keep looking. I think this roll came from some old timer, is what I read and what I seen. 
Um, these rolls came from an old time where he collected rolls, collected BU coins, stuff like that, you know, pretty much like we all do. And uh, he passed away. Family, mem family members or someone of the sort um, put the rolls in these, in these different various um, tubes, rolls, whatever you want to call them, and sold them. Uh, to a coin dealer or something of the sort. And uh, I don't know when that was, how long ago that was. I don't know if these are truly unsearched. Um, I do know the first roll, I did find a couple RPMs. So that was pretty cool. And the coins are in decent condition. The roll, seemed, the roll seemed like it was nice. This one might have been messed with, possibly. But it could have also just been, over time, um, you know, moved around, all that stuff. I, I, don't, I don't know. Coins seem nice <clears throat> for the most part. I mean, we're not, we're not seeing nothing uh, extravagant, but I don't, I don't expect to see anything extravagant. Ex <laughs> extravagant. I just expect to see nice coins. And and unfortunately, sometimes there's nothing you can do about inside a roll, and you might see spotted rolls. So that's something you got to uh, take the good and the bad with as well. It's not a completely spotty roll. So there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Definitely be able to find one to put in my album until I get this other one. I also ordered a new microscope. Digital, uh, USB digital microscope, a dyno light. And I got an incredible deal on that as well. On, uh, on eBay. Oh, hey, there's some machine, Dylan. Look at that. We can check that out. At least that's something to look at for once. You know, if we were to find something on here, it would be a first, because there's, well, at least on Variety Vista, there was nothing listed. You don't see it, you don't see it, you don't see it, you don't see it. Oh, where'd it go? It's got to be, there it is, yeah. See how it's flat and shelf-like? It doesn't make a serif, but it cuts in. Cuts in, the little spots, cuts in, takes away from the lettering. Now you can have machine doubling and uh, a real double die, but it's it's not. Just see how it, it's, it's cutting the letter. That's all that's doing. Still cool to look at. He's doing it down there as well. <laughs> yeah. It's the first one out of the road we've seen. I, I know we haven't been looking at a bunch of them now. That's why. <clears throat> Doesn't hurt to stop and take a look and see what's not every once in a while. Keep your keep your eye reminded on what you're not looking for. That's something you're not looking for. I mean, I one of your unless you're one of those guys that you know wants to sell machine doubling and stuff like that and find it. Some people do like it, whatever. I wouldn't suggest uh, selling it on eBay, but you know, apparently it's the new thing. <clears throat> I guess we'll look and see if this one has any machine doubling on it. Uh, no, no machine doubling. Another real good, easy place to check for doubling <clears throat> on these memorials is in the towers, columns, columns. 
they're Lincoln cents, not pennies, and they're, they're columns, not towers. Towers are probably buildings <laughs> or something. <laughs> <clears throat> not seeing anything worth uh, talking about really besides that uh, little bit of machine doubling we just seen yeah it's a dyno light I guess we can talk about finish talking about that I kind of drifted off but uh, someone was selling one on eBay it was brand new. I gotta say, uh, they make some. <laughs> they make super, super, super expensive ones. It's amazing how much money people can charge for some some things out there nowadays. But when I seen it. And I've been talking about wanting to get a new one. Because this one I got. Um, I got this one for my birthday. It was bought for my birthday. And uh, that was be a year ago. Um, coming up here shortly. And I told myself if I was going to keep doing this. Or you know looking or whatever. That I would. Uh, you know maybe invest in another one eventually. And you can see, I mean, when we get away from super luster, it's not really bad, but I just wanted something, you know, a little nicer. So I started looking and seeing it, and uh, yeah, I just couldn't turn it down. Not for the price, so I got on their Dino Light website and found the model number for it. And uh, yeah, let's say I paid like, it's like a $350 model and I uh, paid under half, not much under half. Well, yeah, yeah, about 30 or $40 under half. So I couldn't turn it down for a brand new model. I don't care if someone stole it off the back of the truck. <laughs> at, that, at that point in time, I'll take it. You have to really just go to show if you pay attention, you'll find what you're looking for eventually. At least close to a price you're willing to pay for something, depending on what it is. I just see how nice like Chuck and Jessica's are from uh, Copper Coins, and uh, I've seen some other YouTube videos of uh, demonstrations of using them and stuff like that. And of course, that's ideal because they're, you know, probably paid to show them off or whatever. But you know, they're still really cool, really nice. So I know blow my little twenty dollar one that was bought for my birthday out of the water. Man, I was really hoping we could find maybe like, I want to find a cud on a Lincoln cent. Um, a nice cud, like a big one. I'm always seeing people posting their, their, their pictures of their cuds and I get all jelly. Get jealous. It's like, man, I want one. Or a clip. I have never found a clip. I have one, but I didn't find it. I mean, I found it in the package that came to me, but, but I didn't find it in a, didn't find it in any hunt, which kind of sucks, but. That's what I would really like to find. Oh, there's Kitty. Oh, Kitty Stretch. He's back there stretching. You'll be fine, Zephyrus. They get up and run around for a couple minutes and want to play and then sit down and the next thing you know, they're sleeping. 
and then I started looking at coins, and then right when I started looking at coins, they were up, and I'm like, hey, I thought we were playing. <laughs> like, no, uh, you fell asleep. So now I just have to kind of uh, find which one I want to uh, use as a hole filler until I, I get the ones coming into me. Yes, at this point in time, it really doesn't matter because it's not going to stay in there, with it, whichever it is. Holy cow. Half an hour to look at 25 coins. <clears throat> I guess I've just been babbling now. Whatever. Well, we didn't find, uh, I didn't find anything interesting, but it was still nice getting to babble a little bit and uh, look through a roll of uh, some original roll, original half roll from 68. I, I can't say it was a bank wrap roll because, as you guys, like I said, you know, it came from an old guy's collection. But they were, you know, I imagine back in 68, he probably collected them or whatever. However, I don't know. I'm not gonna assume or guess. It's still pretty cool to look through them. Well, you guys take it easy. Hopefully you enjoyed the video a little bit. Be safe out there. Check on your elderly, grandparents, um, neighbors. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Take it easy, everybody.